Hey guys, Rolt here. Today, I'll be ranking the top 4 best creature catching Fakemon Roblox games. And with that being said, let's get into the 4th best creature catching game on Roblox. And that is... And before we get into the number 4 spot, I would like to give an honorable mention to Pokemon Brick Bronze. I'm sure if you've ever played Roblox during 2016 or 2017, you've played Pokemon Brick Bronze. It is by far the best Roblox game of all time because of its immersive storyline, frequent updates, and the adventure you take to become a Pokemon trainer. It is a masterclass game which deserves its throne. But sadly, it was taken down in 2018 by Nintendo due to copyright infringement. And if it still existed, I bet it would be the number one game on Roblox and number one on this list. <laughs> Number 4, Kinelite Kingdom. There isn't much about this game since it is in early access and has been out for less than a year. The game hasn't got much traction even though one of its main developers and advertisers of the game is It's Sora, a popular YouTuber in the Roblox Fakemon genre, and understandably the game doesn't receive many updates due to the lack of a player base. The game has no distinguishable features or anything to make it stick out. If I was a developer, I would implement a better story to the game and make progression fun and rewarding instead of the bland quest to quest style of the game. Number 3, Tales of Tenario. Yes, I know the game hasn't released yet, but I think with the leaks and teasers given, it is safe to say that this game deserves a spot in the ranking. Tales of Tenario is looking to dethrone the heavy hitters of the Fakemon genre and take reign over the creature catching genre when it releases. We have gotten a lot of teasers and leaks, but no insight on the gameplay slash replayability f features. The game has a large developer team, including Lucky HD, a very popular member of the Fakemon Roblox committee. The game's future is bright, and I have no doubt that this game will blow past its competitors. Doodle World when Doodle World released, the game blew up out of nowhere. Everybody thought it would be the next big Roblox game. And before we get into the details of the game, I want to give props to the Doodle World developers for being the most consistent game on this list. The game has many special features and an interesting and funny storyline. I myself have spent hours and hours on this game and have many good memories playing it. The updates for the game are frequent and the community is amazing overall. If you haven't played a creature catching game on Roblox, this is the one I would recommend to start with. The only thing missing in Doodle World is his replayability. Since even though chaining is a new and unique feature at face value, it gets draining and quite frankly not worth the reward to go to high change, which can take hours to get the doodle you want. But I highly respect the developers and the content creators who make content on this game, like Armenti, the most popular YouTuber in the Fakemon genre. <laughs> Number 1. Lumion Legacy I know this will be controversial, but in my opinion, Lumion Legacy is the best creature catching game on Roblox. It has almost everything, good models, amazing stories, and so, so many original features, like its many versions of shinies, like alphas, gammas, events, variants, and secret abilities. Or the arcade, the UMV, and their immersive battle theaters, aka gyms. But with that being said, the reason why some people might argue that Lumion Legacy is not the best is because of the lack of updates and the communication from the devs. Lumion Legacy struggles with one thing, communication. It's okay to take a long while for an update since at the end we are all humans and have many other things to do. But the lack of communicating that is the problem. The Lumion Legacy community has been stuck in a loop. When the devs tweet something hinting at an update, the community is happy and after the update drops, player count and player satisfaction is higher than ever. And then after a couple of weeks, the community gets mad at the lack of communicating what's next. And then the community has to wait another year or so for another big story update. But with that being said, Lumion Legacy has given me a lot of great memories, whether it be nostalgia or just plain happy moments. The overwhelming frustration sometimes blinds us from enjoying the updates. If I had to give any advice to the Lumion Legacy developers, I would tell them to talk to the people who play your game. Simple as that. Doesn't mean they have to leak something each time they communicate. Something simple as, development is going smooth, expect to see some teasers soon. 
every once in a while could change someone, everyone's perspective on the developers and maybe even boost their confidence in the devs for upcoming updates. Hey guys, I'm Silence Roblox, Rolt's editor. And because you stayed till the end of the video, I would like to make a quick announcement about his channel. Drum roll, please. The announcement is that Rolt will be making a Discord server, and once he hits 25 subscribers, he will release it. So if you want to talk, hang out, or play with him, or me, or both of us, make sure to subscribe and notify your friends so he can hit 25 subscribers faster.